This channel right here became popular because I covered unknown smaller games that look better than the AAA ones that have more passion into it. So this video right here is centered on these very special projects. Like the video and let's just get into it. First of all, we have one of my most anticipated game of whatever year it releases, Anvil Empires. At first glance, it may seem like a hard pass for many people, and for many reasons, including its top-down view. But think again, this is not your typical game here guys, but something extremely ambitious and really really exciting. Why is it? Because every single person you see in this game is an actual player. A real person doing his part in a huge medieval world. If you do not know what Foxhole is, which is from the same developers, well in Phil Empires is like planet side on massive steroids. Instead of just being a soldier, which you can be a full on medieval knight and soldier, Envil Empires just throws you into this world and lets you decide what you want to be. A peasant doing cores like farming? No problem. You want to hunt? Take care of animals, build a massive castle, be a cook for your local army, build swords and different weapons, take care of your village economy, take part in a massive war with thousands of players at once, siege different castles, you can do all of this and more. Don't just believe my word, the game has had multiple playtests and the people who took part can attest to it. You can wage war alongside thousands of players across a persistent online world. There's also a custom server technology that enables up to a thousand players to fight shoulder to shoulder in a massive real-time melee battle. Battles are organically instigated by players in an open world sandbox. You can build settlements and grow them from small hamlets into large bustling towns shared by dozens if not hundreds of players. Next up we have Digested. Digested is an intense and replayable single player horror survival game that trusts you into a heart pounding scenario. Evade a relentless giant snake determined to consume you. The game sets you loose in an expensive, unpredictable environment where your primary mission is to locate navigation points. These points are crucial, revealing the location of your extraction pod, your only means of escape. There will be no elm holding or arrows to guide the way, only a map and a compass to navigate through this dangerous world. Next up we have Project TH, one of the most promising games that I've seen coming out of the Asian market. And god knows, there are many games in the Asian market that are looking actually really good. But this one, just the team behind it, the transparency and the passion that they seem to have is already really great for me. What we have here is a single player story driven action shooter that looks like a mix of Splinter Cell and Ghost Recon and I'm just all in for it. Keep in mind, what we're seeing here is just a work in progress and it already looks absolutely absolutely insane. The team also wants this game to be the most realistic linear shooting experience that we've ever seen in gaming, with fluid movements, top notch shooting sequences and a realistic approach to combat and how everything feels around you. Each NPC, whether it be a civilian or enemy, will react to everything around them. They will talk on the situation, on what's happening, go to cover, ask for help or be the help that they want. They can pick up guns on the ground and fight as well. The game has realistic graphics but everything is said to be realistic as well besides the graphics, with every object reacting to its environment. For example, explosions, blowing up furniture, cups on the tables falling, you know what I mean. This game has a ton of destruction.
Ouroboros, a miserable island overcome by disaster. Your depths hold rotten legacy of hopes we left there long ago. Now you are an open wound, infested and endangering life itself. That's where we will bring our people. We will follow our way to preserve everything still left. The expedition will carry on. Tartarus can be nominally divided into two parts. The left one is where people have established their settlements. New communities appear there, as well as new trade routes and conflicts. This is where the main storyline unfolds, and PV locations are situated. You will start here. This part of Pioneer is an adventure game with minimum MMO elements. We put a lot of efforts in our level design and use the best practices of narrative in dialogues. Next up we have the Midnight Walkers. Keep in mind everything you see here is not the final product and is simple footage from different close playtests. The Midnight Walkers is a horror PvPVE FPS game set in an intense indoor environment in a massive isolated building with multiple floors that hide different dangers and obstacles. Instead of being limited horizontally in the battlefield, you'll experience the unique and fun that set itself apart from other games of the same genre by limiting the level of the building. This one just doesn't limit anything, there's a ton of floors. There's also a ton of weapon customization, funny moments to be had, and brutal dismemberment. <coughs> <coughs>
Hey you. I'm stuck in here. I just broke into the new Citadel police station. Are you sure this place is abandoned? <laughs> uh, the rumors of that gang are only to scare people. I'll loot the place for anything valuable. Stay safe. Someone there? Are you hiding from me? <laughs> Across the deep. 
deserts. Go east. Some friends. Be powerful. Defeat all the monsters and enemies. I guess I can't do anything worse than that. It's so easy to step over everything you believe in. Somewhere onto your side. Convince me that I haven't done anything bad. I'm talking about intentional unfairness for one's own gain. Did you say unfair? Is it fair that one tree has a thousand leaves and the other has a thousand and one? Is it fair when two people throw the dice one gets a six, and the other gets a two? to have that again. That girl makes chaos. Mark my words. There's a strange sense of calm when you hit the bottom, isn't there? Everybody's story is complex. You should know. Seek in the truth as you do. Make a wish. What did you wish for? I wish I wasn't dead. <laughs> 